Hey everyone, you're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade recipes to share with your family and friends. Today I'm showing you how to make perfectly cooked sweet potatoes that come together really quick without using any of that oven real estate that gets super crowded whenever you're baking a huge meal. Set it, forget it, and get on with your day. Let's get started. All right, I love sweet potatoes so much. They're totally versatile. You can use them in desserts. Hello, sweet potato pie. You might be my best friend. Or you could use them in casseroles, candied sweet potatoes, even just like baked with a little bit of sour cream and chives inside. Ah, delicious. Anyways, during the holidays or any kind of big get together, your oven is on duty. So I know if you have a pressure cooker, this is the time to use it. I'm using my instant pot, but any pressure cooker will work and it's just gonna cook it so fast. For this recipe, you're gonna want four similarly sized sweet potatoes, just so that they all like kind of cook at the same time. These ones are about eight ounces each, so I'll be cooking this for about 30 minutes. If you're using the smaller four ounce sweet potatoes, then cook for 25 minutes, like adjust with a few minutes. When you cook these in the instant pot, the skin is gonna be so soft and it's packed with nutrients. So give it a good scrub so that you could eat everything if you're so inclined. You can also just discard the skin as well. You could go in the compost heap, maybe for those pet goats. I don't know. All right, one cup of water. Might have turned this on already. There's a trivet inside here, by the way. And now we're gonna add in our sweet potatoes. No, 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 uh, uh, uh. Now, just like when you bake them, you wanna give them a nice piercing with your fork. These guys are gonna be under pressure and you don't want them exploding. They need a place to release the steam. You don't have to hold this in your hand. You can do it on the cutting board if you're a little clumsy. One cup of water, Let's add those sweet potatoes in and now we're going to close it up. <laughs> Set the pressure to high, so pressure cook, high. And then we're gonna go for 30 minutes, so time up. <gasps> Where's the time button? Oh, here it is. Don't say anything. Okay, set it to 30 minutes. Just make sure the pressure valve is set to sealing, not venting. Venting, uh-uh, sealing. When it's done in 30 minutes, we'll come back and I'll tell you what to do next. After the timer is up, just let it hang out and depressurize naturally. Don't go to venting, it'll vent on its own. Once it happens, it takes about 20 minutes. Once that happens, it takes about 20 minutes. <laughs> it's ready to open. And you can carefully handle these. They're very tender now, and you can see the skin is like just so soft. Look at that. So now we can peel these guys. You can do whatever you want. I have a couple of suggestions. Number one, these are amazing for any kind of a candied sweet potato casserole you wanna make. Click up here for my favorite one with baked apples. It is so sweet and delicious. To do that, all you have to do is peel the skin off like this. It comes right off. And you could eat the skin too if you want. It's so thin and tender. Then take this and cut it into medallions. And the medallions can get stacked with some apple slices. And then you can bake this again with a sprinkling of brown sugar. It is amazing. The full recipe is on the blog and I also have that link up there and in the description for you to click on. If you wanna use these to make a sweet potato pie, go ahead and just peel them, plop them into your food processor and process, process, process. Anytime you've had sweet potato pie that has like those stringy bits, it's just because it hasn't been chopped up enough and all that fiber, which is really good for you, will get caught in your teeth, which is not fun on a dessert. For the easiest side dish ever, packed with nutrients and so delicious, just break this little puppy open like here. You can give it a couple cuts just so you're gonna distribute that sour cream. And now, big beautiful dollop of sour cream right in the middle and a nice sprinkle of fresh chives. This is amazing with chicken, with steak, just on its own with pasta, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna go crazy, drizzle some browned butter on top of that. Wow. We're gonna enjoy these as is with that dollop of sour cream and the fresh chives, it is so good. But 
tomorrow I'm making a batch of sweet potato pies and I'm gonna have a bunch of these prepped in my Instant Pot ready to go. It'll make it so easy. If you like this recipe, check out my pumpkin pie recipe. It is so good. I gave you all my tips and tricks for the perfect pumpkin pie with no cracks. Also, it's delicious. Check it out. I'm gonna sneak a little bite and no one's gonna be any the wiser. No, that's so good. Sour cream makes everything better and these sweet potatoes were perfectly tender. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.